What's up, guys? This is another video from Omega, and I'm going to be doing three really cool magic tricks. They're so easy to do. Um, I'm using my iPad, so it should be the other way around. And if you look, see me look at the screen, I'll be on YouTube. It'll look like this. I'm just looking at myself to see how I'm doing. Anyway, to do these really cool magic tricks, what you need to do is uh, number one levitation now what you need to do is you need to get a pack of cards I just got these Manchester United ones um, and what you need to do is first it's just a normal you show them it's a normal deck of cards normal deck of cards And that they're all perfectly fine. Now what you do is just shake. You just rub your finger on the side. You put it at the top. This is how it works, all right? Rub top. And then all oh, by or by your index finger. Now, but this is what it's going to look like. This is how you do it, alright? You put your finger there. And then you do, I, don't, I find it easier not to do that. I prefer to do just the boom at the end. Because then you get more push and it looks like you're actually doing it. You do it anyway. But first you've got to make it look like you're just getting it static. So it looks like it's actually gonna levitate and then you just put your thing like that and you just slowly lift up it's that simple now the other trick to levitate a card with is you show them that it's a normal card I am of course Man United fan look at that United that's probably backwards oh well uh, anyway uh, you just take a normal card now what you do Show the card. Right. Not holding on to the card. But as I did that, you're able to probably see. Uh, Not holding onto the card. You're just able to levitate it. It's that simple. Um, the next trick will probably be. Um, oh yeah, the disappearing matchstick or cocktail stick. It doesn't really matter what type of stick you have. If it's a stick, it blinking works. Now we need to have. Is a matchstick, and you don't really need the glove. I uh, I just do this because it's easier to use. Now you hold the matchstick like that. Right. One, two. <laughs> Boom! It's that easy to do. But of course. This is quite hard. This is one of the weirdest ways you probably looked at somebody and said, "That's not really a good way to hold a match." It's because you got a little piece of sellotape, right? Little piece of sellotape that that holds it on. Now that I'm holding it there because if I did it like that, everybody will be able to see it. The thing now from behind, what are you going to do? You know, one, two three and there goes behind the finger so it's completely covered but it's always going to be here so hold it it's that easy number three finally it's the paper 
paper and coin tray. Right, you show them it's a regular coin, no uh, seller tape or blue tack. Then you show them it's a regular piece of paper. Easy. Easy. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the card. You're gonna put the little coin there, and you're gonna fold the piece of paper over so it's completely covering that coin. Now, if I just go like that around the coin, you're able to see the little outlines, right? Now, what you need to do is then what you do is you then fold that you turn it round see so that you see what the coin there then you push this forwards F and then you push this forwards as well now still the coin is still in there but um it's still there and I would recommend down down here well, you've just folded it okay so down these two bits I, I would give it a bit of room next to the coin it'll make this trick a lot easier then you finally turn it back round and fold this little thing up so finally it looks like that ah but here's where the trick comes in there from your first fold still got that little coin it can just perfectly fit in that little slot there then that's where the trick happens so you just ask your people feel that the coin is still in there feel it's in there then what you do is you put it into your right or left hand doesn't really matter and then you just get, then you put it to them forward not showing where the pocket is. Now you go up to them and they go, so this I mean, that didn't go quite right. Oh well. This it's still in there. It's still in the pocket. And then you just go up to them and then it's right in front of their faces, smug as you like. It's rip it all apart. That's because when you were holding, oh, when you were holding the thing like that, you just let go. You just put your thumb at the top of the pocket, and the coin just falls in. And then you still got it in this finger. Still got it in there. You just put it in there. Rip. You chuck it in the faces and walk off. It's that simple. Three magic tricks. Done. See you guys later.